Hello and welcome back to the driver's room. This is the Endurance Championship. Um, we are with uh, Tier 2 again. This time we are at a Tokyo Central Inner Loop and we're using the Group 4 machines. So let's head on down to the grid and see how the guys got on during qualifying. And Paul, we've got Martin B on Supersoft. Second, we've got Flapjack on Supersoft. Third, we've got Spooky on Super Softs. Fourth is Booba Lupo, he's on Softs. Fifth is Comrade Mitsos, he's on Super Softs. Sixth is Mungino, Softs on the front, Super Softs on the rear. Seventh, we've got Daz, he's on Softs. Eighth, we've got Rocker, he's on Super Softs. Ninth, we've got Jules, Softs on the front, Super Softs on the rear. 10th, JC, he's on softs. 10th, uh, sorry, 11th, we've got Canny, he's on super softs. 12th is Steven, he's on super softs. And last but no means least, 13th, we've got Kamaru, uh, my team boss in Milnia, he's on super softs. And starting from the back today as he's doing a wild card entrance on his sabbatical season. So that's the grid for round six of tier two. Let's head to the front and see how the guys get on when the lights go out and they hit the track in anger for the first time. Oh, you join me on the grid, a cameraman taking his life in his hands, trying to get a good shot down the grid. As the revs build, as the lights go on. And they're away. Everybody has got a decent start. Tokyo tracks are tricky with the walls. You gotta watch them for the penalties as everybody is. Spooky Luki and Booba Lubo seem to be having a weird connection. I think this is one of them can't see the other. The way those cars were just joined together, that's gonna be a nightmare for the race. Ah, <laughs> oh, Spooky just takes off. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gents, but I have to go back and look at that. <laughs> with Comrade Mitsos looking at the. Yeah, they obviously can't see each other with that weird connection. Get ready for takeoff. Spooky goes to orbit! <laughs> oh, it's one of the best moments I've seen in GT Sport in one of our videos. The state of that car already. <laughs> 
let's get back to the action. We'll just keep stay with it here. So right now, Spooky's gonna think he's in third. Boopa Loopa's gonna think he's in third. It's just a mess with those two. As you see, I'm going through each other there. It's really gonna mess with their race and this we'll just try and ignore them the best we can so Martin B is just strolling away out the front he's got flapjack close behind in his Ferrari flapjack does uh, like racing that group four Ferrari and he got Bubo Lubo in third at the moment I uh, don't know if, if flapjack can see him or not and he got Spooky Doogie in fourth. Definitely cannot see Booba Lubo. Comrade Mitsos is in fifth. Mungino sixth. Daz is in seventh. JC in eighth. Jules in ninth with a rocket all over him. Trying to find a way past. Canny in eleventh. Steven is in twelfth. Kamaru is still bringing up the rear of the 13th, but he's going up the inside there. Leaves Stephen in his wake. Two evenly match McLaren there. Stephen just catching the wall, kills all your momentum on this track. Back to the front, Martin is absolutely checking out at this point. And then you got this trio of Flapjack, Booba Lubo and Spooky. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure who can actually see Booba Lubo at this point. They're now being caught by Mitsos and Mungino, so this trio is going to become a fivesome very shortly. in a little bit of a world of his own early on. 1.4 second penalty to get rid of. Like I said, these walls are <laughs> nightmare. Although I do like racing the uh, Tokyo tracks and see Lukey's had an issue. Let's jump back and see what's happening to Spooky Lukey. We jump on board with Spooky heading down towards the tunnel. Look how close he is to Booba Luba and we know he cannot see him. Even though that car's there, he's not showing up on track for Spooky. And we jump back a little bit too far in his issues through this tunnel. Or coming out of this tunnel. He's had another one of those moments like he had in the last race where the car just dies for no reason and turns one way. He may be having steering wheel issues. I would say it's probably tech issues by the looks of it. Nightmare for Spooky. Let's drop him down to ninth place now with Rocker breathing all down his neck. Rocker looking up the inside. Rocker's gonna slot past in the ninth, so Spooky down the tenth. Maru is now up to 11th, he's starting to make his move through the field as he clatters the McLaren into the wall. Kenny is being harassed by Steven behind him. Meanwhile Martin has checked out. Flapjack Town desperately to follow him, but Booba uh, Lobo's doing a good job of stuck with him. Mm. 
admits that's a Mungino. I'm not able to make any big impressions on the guys ahead. That Citroen is huge. Mungs gonna find it difficult to find a gap to get past that thing. There's a white load sticker on the back. Mung in the McGowan Trophy, very good in his tyres. Uh, this is before they were nerfed. Daz is creeping up behind him in the Ferrari. A good run so far today, Daz up in sec. JC in a little spot in his own, and here comes the group of Jules, Raga, Spooky Doogie, Kamaru, and Steven. Kenny's fallen off the back a little bit there. Tracks can produce some real great racing. Uh, I'll say I personally enjoy them myself. Pick it up a uh, one and a half second penalty there at the moment. He's 3.4 seconds ahead of Flapjack. 2.4 back to Rockboy or Boopa Lupo and 3.4 seconds back to Metzos. So the front's really starting to spread out now. Uh, in fact, everyone's really spread out. There's one or two cars close to each other, but the gaps are widening already. Oh, yeah. Only coming up to the first 10 minutes of the race. I think what we could end up seeing here is uh, a lot of traffic dodging, especially for these front guys. I think they will uh, catch and start to lap a lot of the guys. Mars done uh, 117.8 so far. Flapjack on a 118.7. One eighteen nine for Bubalu well. Nineteen six for Mitsos. Nineteen flat for Monk. Nineteen four for Daz. One twenty flat for Da uh, JC. Twenty flat for Jules. Rocker with a one twenty two. Spooky with a nineteen eight, but it's fallen off dramatically since that uh, looked like tech issue on lap three. Stevens at a 120.3, Kim with a 120.4, and Candy with a 121.1. Just their fastest lap so far, you can see the difference between them. Martin is just on another planet with his base. Trick is around Tokyo is really trying to avoid the walls as much as possible. As Martin scrapes down one, it really kills your momentum. If you can just just take it to the edge of the track but miss the miss the wall, you'll be gaining a lot of time. Martin's starting to look like he's got a bit of a dodgy connection. Just hope he can uh, stay connected to the race. This is quite a bit of lag there through that last sector.
Flapjack starting to catch slightly and the front right of Flapjack's taking a pounding on that Ferrari. A lot worse than the two guys around him. Same with uh, this pair have been tied together since the start of the race. Uh, Mitsos and Munginu. Mitsos front right taking a hammer in and uh, Mungs is very, very tidy looking. Daz isn't too bad as well behind, so Mitsos can see himself getting jumped by these two if they uh, can stay out of a lap or two more. Hop on board with Mung here as he's chasing down Mitsos. See Mitsos are struggling for the grip site there compared to Mung. Mung's trophy, much more tyres. Much more tyres, much better tyres. Uh, but that lunge there is a let Daz to go up through Mung lost momentum and uh, making sure he didn't have contact with Mitsos. <laughs> Daz is uh, had to back off by Mitsos and lost a lot of time. That Citroen is just massive as you see Flapjack dives in. So hard to get past. All three of these guys stay out. Flapjack just up the road ahead. After his pit stop, JC also putting. I'd say all three of these are probably going to go to the 15 minute mark. We'll see just a little bit of contact with the guys ahead. This is where Munginu had to back out last time against Mitsos. Daz has the exact same issue. Munginu up the inside. Carbon copy of what happened. Just a reversal of the cars from the last lap. Can't get past that ginormous Citroen. Lose the momentum and the car behind just nips on through. See in the rearview mirror there. Daz just again losing a little bit of... Uh, the car's composure was mine as it jumped in the pits and back in. Uh, Daz lost a little bit of the car composure there just behind Monk. Great battle between these. And look at Mitsos's tyres now. He's really holding these guys up behind. They're crawling all over him. Just can't get past that behemoth of a car. I wonder what the brief was for that car in Citroen. We're going to build a car to go racing. Is it going to be the fastest? No. Is it going to be the quickest accelerating? No. But it's going to be that big if it gets in front of somebody, they're not going to get past. <laughs> oh, we'll do a run through the grid here as we're approaching the 15 minute mark, lap 11. Boobaloobo now, oh, Rock Boy is in first after Martin B behind as pitted. He's got Flapjack now crawling all over him. So Flapjack doing the undercut pitting earlier than F Martin has really paid off and got him right up behind Martin now as they are closing down on Rock Boy ahead. Sorry, Rock Boy is what he's called on our Discord. So Boobaloobo, Rock if I say Rock Boy, I'm talking about Boobaloobo. Mitsos has stayed out. He's in 4th, Daz in 5th, because Mung is into the pits from 6th, maybe trying to do the undercut now on 
Mets are getting sick of being sat behind that car. JC is in seventh. A little bit down the road after his pit stop. We've got Rocker in eighth. Steven in the ninth. Spooky Doogie coming out the pits in tenth. Very battered Aston Martin. We've got Kamaru in eleventh. In the McLaren. Come on, Kim. You can get up higher than this. Jules in eleventh. Very, very good looking Lamborghini. So lovely livery on that car that he's got. And Canny at the back with a four second penalty. Must not paid his bar bill. The stewards are being very mean to him. Boobaloobo now into the pits. That's going to release Martin and Flapjack. Flapjack just be trying desperately to claw onto the coattails of him. Also got Mitsos and Daz into the pits. L won't let me select. Mung, and now the camera's gone mental. So Boobaloobo is out. And Mung's done it. Mung's done the undercut and got ahead of that Citroen. Great move by Mung, uh, deciding to jump into the pits before Mitsos to get ahead of him on the track. He can now try and get after Boobaloobo. JC's in a bit of a world of his own in his uh, Merc SLS. Nobody ready to the front or back of him. He's just in his own little uh, COVID bubble. Very responsible, that man. <laughs> Rocker leading the next pack in eight, holding off Steven. Oh, Steven slams into the wall. Picks up a second penalty for it. He's going to come under pressure from Spooky Rookie very soon. Spooky is dragging Kimaru along with him. Although, Steven's got the run on Rocker. I think there's a little bit of a touch there. Steven had to back off and that's allowed Spooky Rookie through and now he's crawling all over the back of Rocker. Wow. 9.3 second penalty for Spooky. Uh, I think somebody is definitely pushing the limits of this track and the car. He's very close to Rocker. Hopefully he can see Rocker. And he is right on Rocker's rear bumper. Yeah, it seems to be reacting to Rocker, so he should be able to see him. This is some close racing. Gonna try and go up the inside. Tries to break it, breaks way too late. That that was not really a move. That was oh, and he gonna run into the back of Rocker there. This is uh, a little bit messy from Spooky. He is a quick driver, just maybe needs to another tap on Rocker, hidden Rocker into the wall. Oh, and I think he just squashed Kim against the wall behind him. This is getting all very, uh, very, very messy. A little bit impatient from the youngster. Don't always have to go for every gap. 
especially around a place like this. She runs wide again and picks up another penalty. She doesn't seem to have that Aston Martin planted. It's running away with him and it's showing the battle scars for it. Sorry for going quiet there, I was just trying to uh, figure something out then, so I was watching and thinking I was thinking there was maybe an element of wall riding coming into that a little bit there, but I don't think so now, it just doesn't seem to be staying more out of the wall now. He's definitely still putting Rocker under some pressure. As Rocker runs deep into the corner. That's allowed Spooky through now, and now Rocker has Kamaru for company right on his tail. Kim's looking around the outside. If he can hold her on the outside, he's going to have the inside for the next corner, and he makes it through. Great move from Kamaru. Lined him up very well there and just takes the outside, holds it to take the inside for the next corner. And Stevens now looking to get past Rocker. Rocker's lost loads of momentum after that hit on the wall. Still ahead of Mitsos with Daz has got up through. Daz having a storm and start to his second stint. He's got past Mitsos and Mangino. Maybe there was a move made by Mitsos that slowed the two of them down, or Mung had a problem and caught Mitsos out. I don't know. It slowed the two of them up. But Daz has made them pay and is up into fourth. JC coming into the pits. Let's put it spooky up in the seventh. But oh, JC comes out right between the two McLarens with Kamaru and Steven. Rockers gone in and got a fresh set of tyres. He's going to have Jules for company who put it on the last lap. Yeah, Lamborghini not looking the fastest around Tokyo. Gianni still going at the back there. Keeping the head down. Mountain still in way out in the lead to see how far he is ahead of Flapjack 11.3 seconds and they were nose and tail when they came out the pits. Martin has really pulled away, although it looks like Flapjack's maybe gone in again for another set of tyres. Ferrari can be a bit hungry on rubber. Boobo now in third. Uh, he's got a gap to Flapjack, quite a gap back to this little pack of Daz, Mung and Mitsos. So they head down into the second tunnel. And then there's a huge gap back to Spooky, Kamaru, JC and Steven as they just exit the first tunnel. 
Spooky seems to have regained his composure now. He's driving a little bit better. And as I say that, he bounces off two walls. <laughs> Still got 11.7 seconds of worth of penalties. Got Kamara in the McLaren right behind him. This little slipstream train. Anything about the uh, central inner loop? There's not many straights that you can take advantage of them. There's always some sort of kink or corner, or there's nothing really straight on this track apart from maybe this little section here of the start finish route. That's it. And the two tunnels, well, the one tunnel. So we've jumped ahead of it and rejoined the race on lap, well, end of lap 26 as Martin B crosses the line to start lap 27 and sets another fastest lap. He's really pushing there. As you can see, Flapjack's a bit closer. That's probably why Martin is pushing so hard. Uber Lubo is still in third. But Magino now up into fourth. Mitsos in fifth. Daz insect that's going to be after a tire change for Daz his car will be more sore on the tires than the two guys had JC still in lonely seventh of the guys are catching him behind Stephen now up into eighth Kim in ninth go on King Kim Spooky Doogie in tenth Still got 11 second penalty. Jules in 11th. We've got Rocker in 12th. Looks like we have lost Canny. Just trying to keep that trophy away from Mitz also Monk will be heading into the pitch soon. He is uh, starting to get low on fuel. See Boopaloo pitting ahead. And the McLaren and the McLaren is inherently better on fuel as long as you drive her correctly. Uh, the trophy Monk is going for at least one more lap. Mitzos has more fuel than him so we'll maybe be able to go for a lap longer as Mung comes off the wall it's gonna lose him a bit of momentum but he covers off Mitsos Mitsos had the back end Look like Mitsos is maybe going into auto drive then Daz is closing fast he's uh, looks like that long after a pit so He'll be back ahead of them too very, very shortly. JC's really going to come under pressure soon. He's getting caught by this pack now. Steven is really putting the pressure on JC, closing that gap. Sector by sector. Nine tenths of a second. JC will know that Steven's coming, the others are not too far behind. So he'll be uh, preparing himself for a fight very soon. Ready broke into two or three groups now this race. Oh, JC clatters the wall, that's going to lose all momentum and bring Steven right up behind him as they come down to start finish straight. 
Steven was thinking about going to the outside, but that SLS does have good grunt compared to the McLaren. One upside of that McLaren is handling, so Stephen will be able to look in, sorry, to put pressure on him through this more technical bit of the track. See Stephen just showing JC his headlights there in his side mirrors. Trying to just take the eyes of the driver in front. Put him off his rhythm. And now uh, that's the light came to catch right up now. So Steven's lost a bit of momentum behind JC. Maybe due to a bit of dirty air, maybe causing Steven to lose a bit of time. But that's Claude Kamaru right up behind Steven now. And well, the two McLaren drivers work together and not fight. Let's go after JC or. Will it be all out wars? Mangino and Mitsos jump in the pits. That's going to release Daz up into fourth. Lungs feel a lot lower than Mitsos, so Mitsos could jump him here on the fuels. Nope, Mung is away. Mitsos stuck on a lot more than Mung. We'll see how that pans out, but Mung has actually got a nice gap back to Mitsos now. JC being harassed by Steven now. Only thing uh, really with this layout is it's quite a fast sweeping layout. There's no real like massive heavy braking areas, no no real areas to overtake unless you just get a better run than somebody from them hitting the wall, etc. That's why it becomes a bit uh, of a procession when cars get behind each other because they're basically doing the exact same thing. They keep at the same sort of pace. And even if you are slightly faster than the car ahead, it's hard to find a place to get past. Cleanly, anyway. And that's what... Uh, driver's room is all about clean respectful racing so I won't see anybody doing any big dive bomb moments hopefully can happen from time to time I suppose See Stephen there just putting the car out on the left hand side of the track. Wasn't really looking, but it looks to, to do an overtaking maneuver, but just trying to take JC's eyes, make JC think about Stephen and think he was going to make me make a move into turn one. But JC's uh, too long in the tooth for that. Oh, Granddad Dave is going to fall for no uh, youngsters' tricks. The flapjack is now in the pits from second. Taking on fuel, he's back out ahead of Boobaloobo. Kamara's probably going to be getting frustrated sitting behind this. <laughs> Begging Steven just to <laughs> have a go at getting past JC or get out the way and let him have a go. No, these guys aren't in teams, you can't be in teams in the same tier. JC hits the wall, loses momentum. Is this going to be the opportunity that maybe even just Kamaru needs? It's two cars slower down ahead. Didn't really affect JC that much. And around they go again. Yeah, they're not in. They might be driving the same manufacturer car, but they're not in a team. You can't be in the same tier and in a team. Not like sure I'm for our, but shh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> body jug and plugs if you watch this just trying to wind you up well, we'll leave these guys because they just seem to be in a train and we'll check through the uh, field Martin is still out front fastest lap of 117.4 he is 20 seconds now ahead of flapjack after flapjack stop 
Martin is going to have to stop in the next few laps. Flapjack in second. We've got Booba Lubo in third. Big gap all around him, which is probably a good thing because uh, Spooky Lookie definitely can't see him. Uh, I'm not sure how many others maybe can't see him. Daz now in fourth in a good gap by himself. His uh, strategy has worked out pretty well for him so far, giving him a great position on the road. There it <laughs> Sorry, uh, I just seen the guys heading into the pits, they're even heading into the pits as a train. Mongino in fifth. We've got Mitsos now in sixth. He's dropped back away from Mung after that pit stop. He took on a lot more fuel than Mung, so uh, we'll see which one of them has made the right call. Spooky is in seventh. Oh my lord, my friend. Look at those tyres. Get in the pits. Get them off. Maybe this is why he have 12 second penalty. That front right has no grip. He's going to struggle on them. JC is in eighth. Still ahead of the two behind because he hasn't pitted yet. He'll probably be heading in this lap. And we've got Kamaru is ahead of Steven. Kamaru has jumped Steven through the pits. He's just getting lapped by Martin. He's jumped Steven quite a bit. He's took on, he's took on more fuel and still come out ahead of him. Stephen have an issue in the pits. This pit crew maybe need uh, a little bit more training. Rocker is uh, on his own net in 11th. He's gonna need the pit soon. Those rights are looking sore. And Jules in 12th. Uh, as Martin jumps in the pits, Ju uh, Spooky Lukey and JC. Nearly mixed up two people's names in one. Gumaru is now up to 7th, he has jumped to JC and Spooky Doogie. Steven up to 8th. JC has got Spooky all over the back of him now. Poor JC hasn't had a moment's peace the second half of this race. He's been hassled by everybody so far. That pit stop has allowed Rocker to catch backside to these guys as well, so it could become three for this position. Although I think Rocker's going to have to pit uh, shortly for tyres. We we'll jump forward now to lap 42, the last five minutes of the race. We'll run through the order just to update us on where everyone is. It's probably in, still in the same positions. We've got Martin in first, Flapjack in second, Boobalubo in third. Mitsos is now up to fourth, but look at those tires. He's gonna. Will he struggle to the end on them or will he pit? That will be the big question for him. Mangino is in fifth, but his fuel's looking. Very tricky. Does insect? He's looking uh, pretty to the end of the race. Kamaru in seventh. Tires looking to be the worst thing about his. He's got more than enough fuel. Steven in eighth. Slightly better tires with less fuel than Kamaru. Spooky is in ninth. His tires are not looking great. Jules is in tenth. Rocker 11th and JC is at the back in 12th. He's got his hazards going. Boobaloo picks up a three second penalty. Uh, this is where we could have an issue uh, if other people can't see Boobalubo as he comes to lap them. Oops, sorry, wrong button. He has enough time in hand if there is an issue. Um, 
The blue flags are waving on our screen. And it looks like Jules left him enough space. Yep, good work for Jules. He obviously can see him. Jules, a very experienced driver with the race with the driver's room. I can't talk. So no dramas there. So Mitsos is still pushing on. Looks like he's going to try and take these tires to the end. That front right looks horrendous. Mangino's fuel doesn't look much better, so one's got the tires, one's got the fuel. Who will win, or will they both pit? No, they're not pitting. They've probably got two laps to go. Daz uh, has tyres and he has fuel advantage over both of them. He's going to be looking to hunt down Mungino, who's probably in super fuel safe mode right now. Ooh, Kim, his fuel is very low, but this, that McLaren is pretty handy at using its fuel, so. Steven's got even less. If Kim knows that, he can. Breathe a sigh of relief. Spooky plays into the wall. He's uh, also getting critical on fuel. Well, he's being lapped. Jules is looking pretty low. Rocker has plenty. JC has more than enough. And Martin is coming round on what should be his last lap now. Another fantastic drive from this man. Start to finish. Hit the front. Never look back. <sighs> the other guy's never stood a chance, really. It's almost cruel. We might have to set up a driver's room therapy uh, area after guys have been just very soundly beaten. and talk about it. <laughs> no, he's gonna have to do one more lap. Oh, he was thinking of hitting the brakes. <laughs> he noticed too late. Will he make it round? Yeah, he should make it round with that fuel. Flapjack is not doing another lap. <laughs> he made sure of that, so Flapjack comes home in second. Boobaloobo. He's gonna come home in third. He's got more than enough fuel. He's gonna have to get rid of that penalty. He doesn't really have to probably cross the line with it. She goes past JC, who is ghosting. Boobaloobo comes home in third. After that strange start, he uh, got the head down and put in a very good performance. Mitsos is going to come home in fourth. He took those tyres to the brink of destruction. Daz has got up to fifth ahead of Mungino. He was closing on Mitsos as well. Great drive from Daz today. Mung is very close to being out of fuel with a little celebratory handbrake across the line. Mung comes home in sixth. Kamaru is coming home in seventh. Great drive from the king. Steven is run out of fuel in eighth. Spooky in ninth. Jules tenth. Rocket eleventh. JC twelfth. Thanks very much for joining.